Hey everybody, so today I'm making a new version of my grandma's sausage balls. And I cut up some bacon bits. I got the halal bacon. And actually I saved myself a few strips because it has been so long since I had a bacon sandwich that, well, I just have to. So I'll show you the ingredients. I started with three and a, oh shoot. I'm not supposed to use flour, I forgot. Ah, oh, stupid. You're supposed to use this. Well, I mean, you could use flour, but my grandma didn't, and like, I bought this, so I might as well use it, right? So now I have to put all of this back in here, so. Okay, so now I added three and a half cups of the Bisquick. I can't believe I did that. I specifically bought Bisquick for this. Stupid. Okay, then I've got my almond milk. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit as I don't know, I think it was a cup that my grandma used, but I don't remember. So I'm just going to add a half a cup for now. Okay. And then you want eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. And we always had to grate it because that was her rule. But I'm smarter and my hands hurt so I get the already shredded and then you're gonna have just a little bit of oil to oil the pans and this is 12 ounces so I'm not gonna put all of it in a little bit. but I am I don't think the beef bacon is gonna uh, have as much grease as the pork so I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil and hopefully it'll give me a little bit of something so now you just want to cook the bacon at least three-fourths of the way because um, when it's in the oven, it's going to cook more. But, like, I don't know, it's unlike pork or chicken. Like, with pork or chicken, you really have to make sure it's all cooked because of all the germs and everything. But with beef, you don't have to worry too much. Now, while your bacon is still sizzling in the skillet, you're going to want to dump it in the bowl. Now, I lost my grandma's recipe, so I was on YouTube looking at videos last night, and a lot of people, they were putting in the sausage, and it wasn't even cooked. And I don't know, I'm not crazy about that, because like I said, I would be worried that um you know it wouldn't get cooked all the way but to each his own i prefer to cook the meat that's the way my grandma did so that's the way i will do and i just mixed it together looks kind of gross but uh smells delicious and we're gonna let it cool for a bit and then we're just gonna mix it up and start making the balls okay so you roll it up in balls you put it in the oven and it comes out like this so good. 